Please remember to post a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you can always get my latest travel videos. Happy Sunday from North Macedonia. Some fun facts. This is North Macedonia, which is different than Macedonia. In North Macedonia, the official language is Macedonian. In Macedonia, which is a province of Greece, the official language is Greek. So therefore, in North Macedonia, people speak Macedonian. In Macedonia, people speak Greek. This is a massive statue, fountain, and series of sculptures dedicated to Alexander the Great. Now there is a uh, monument to Alexander the Great in Thessaloniki in Macedonia, but it's much smaller than this. This one is huge. The height of the Alexander the Great monument in Skopje is 11 meters tall. The Alexander the Great monument in Thessaloniki, Greece is half that height at six meters tall. The population of Skopje is just over 611,000. Population of North Macedonia is 2.1 million. The Macedonia province of Greece has 2.38 million people. So uh, this is in North Macedonia and they claim that Alexander the Great is theirs. I said this was a massive statue to Alexander the Great. Uh, you can see it better with the scale of the people that are at the bottom of the statue, the sculpture. The sculpture has these lions um, that are fountains along with gladiators or guards that are guarding Alexander the Great and there are carvings along the pillar. It is a, quite a, a massive monument. This is another view of that same monument dedicated to Alexander the Great. Uh, this is one of the most beautiful public spaces I have ever seen in all of Europe, I must say. Uh, they've done a really nice job here. Uh, it's all uh, inlaid with white and black marble, and it's just gorgeous, surrounded by cafes and nice buildings. They love their monuments in Skopje. Here's another one. And yet another one. That is Philip II of Macedon. That's who's on top up there. This fountain and monument is dedicated to the mother of Alexander the Great. That's her pregnant and that's her raising her young child. Alexander the Great's mother was named Olympia. Olympia has a university. Southeast European University. This is called the Stone Bridge. It's over the Vardar River. It's a very clean river down there and nice parkland and uh, jogging trails all along the river. Taxi ride from the airport to the city center is 30 minutes. Cost of the taxi is 28 euros one way. Buses from airport to Holiday Inn Skopje take 40 minutes and cost four euros. The buses run infrequently. Along with the stone bridge that crosses the Vardar River in Skopje, there are two other nice bridges. One is this one. It's the Bridge of Macedonian Civilization. And that bridge uh, leads to the entrance to the Museum of Macedonia, National Museum. The bridge itself is beautiful, made out of white marble, and the statues continue all the way along the other side over there. On the Vardar River, they've converted an old ship into a restaurant. In Skopje, North Macedonia, the official currency is the Macedonian dinar. Euro's cash is widely accepted. The exchange rate is best at the airport and authorized places in Skopje. 1 euro equals 64 Macedonian dinars. Even the lights along the park have a 
unique Macedonian feel to the design of the lights. Walking along the river, you notice that the sculptures change from old to more recent, maybe year 1500 or so. More modern scholars and artists. Now we approach the second bridge, and it's called the Artful Bridge. This has poets and writers and artists uh, statues on the bridge. They have plaques dedicated to the individuals. This is Petre Prilichiko, Adam Gajtani. Again, the ornate design of the lamps. That dome building is the National Theater of Opera and Ballet. More magnificent looking buildings. This is the Triumphal Arch of Skopje, North Macedonia. And right beside it is this very interesting monument. There is one person that is undisputedly from North Macedonia, and that is Mother Teresa. She was born here in Skopje, North Macedonia. And this is the space where her house used to be, where she was born. So they've dedicated a memorial to her on this spot. This is the Mother Teresa Museum, and as you can see, there's a large tour group that's going through there right now. Mother Teresa, the saint from Skopje. Adjacent to the Mother Teresa Museum is the Church of St. Constantine and Helena. It's a beautiful building, and they've got a lovely bell tower up there. Unfortunately, the church is closed, must be for renovations. The walking areas in the center of Skopje are absolutely gorgeous with these tree-lined streets and these beautiful balconies and buildings. This gorgeous statue with a man on a horse, and this is the National Assembly. This is the Parliament of North Macedonia, and you can see you can just walk right up to it. That's very interesting for this part of the world. This is the old bazaar of Skopje, North Macedonia, and it is a lovely place to be. Um, there are mosques here. There's a mosque minaret. Um, lovely place. Free freshwater drinking fountains. The old bazaar of Skopje is a beautiful tourist spot with cafes and shops and little alleys selling sweets, including Turkish delight and baklava. Little cafes with fountains. Beautiful lamps coffee serving sets. The store is simply called Muslim Shop. In the Muslim Shop, they feature dried fruits and nuts. Stores selling traditional Turkish clothing. This area is called the Covered Bazaar because it's covered, shaded. Here's a menu of some Macedonian foods. Could that be an autobiography of Justin Bieber in Macedonian? Old Town Bazaar features authentic restaurants and also beer, Skopsko beer which is the local brew. An umbrella-covered little alley. More very cute alleys with cafes and little shops and restaurants. Another lovely mosque with a beautiful garden around it. At the edge of the old bazaar is Skopje Fortress. Skopje Fortress was built in the year 600 AD and being on top of here offers a beautiful view of the city of Skopje, North Macedonia. Here's a nice view from the fortress. You can see some of the uh, classical designs of buildings. 
Uh, there are no tourists here with me right now. Uh, this is uh, one of the beautiful things about Skopje. We're going to try to climb to the top of the fortress. Uh, Where I've come is absolutely free of charge. Uh, this fortress is open all the time and there are no tickets to get in here. Skopje's stadium, the national stadium. The high mountains in the background. Again, the national flag of North Macedonia. As we come down from the fortress, we're back in the old town. I hope you enjoyed my video of Skopje, North Macedonia this morning. Please stay tuned for more videos and thank you for watching. Please subscribe, post a like, and hit the notification bell for future videos.